in Jesus name Amen. we come through the name that cannot fail we come through the name that is mighty and powerful we come through the name that draws the attention of God and the attention of heaven we know you are able we know you will heal your people we know our time of deliverance is now confirm your miracle on everyone in Jesus name sickness whatever the name I pray that sickness will vanish away in Jesus name pain whatever the source or the cause of that pain pain stop right now Lord heal your people now in Jesus name whatever is knocking your head there disturbing distracting your head there that spirit of torment in the head in the body I command you come out in Jesus name your eyes that are bandaged they call it glaucoma is is a bandage they call it cataract is bandage all the bandage that closes your eyes that you couldn't see well or couldn't see at all that bandage is removed now in Jesus name Lord set them free the swelling the fibroid, the anea, the elephantiasis, the pile, and the swelling of cancer there. Lord, I pray, touch them now. Heal them now in Jesus' name. Internal disease, internal wound, internal bleeding, cancer, ulcer, pain whatever lord touch them now one by one touch everyone put testimony in their mouth relieve them of the cancer of the ulcer of the internal wound in jesus name those who are deaf and dumb this is your day those deaf ears be opened in jesus name Dumb tongues be loosed in Jesus' name. And just so uh, immobilized, paralyzed, you are just there and you couldn't rise up, you couldn't walk, you couldn't bend, you couldn't sit, you couldn't stand. Everything causes pain for you. Or the leg is so paralyzed and withered, it has no strength to move. I pray, I command strength into your body in Jesus' name. All the pain of arthritis, all the things that make your joints, your arm, your leg to be useless and you couldn't move. I pray the Lord remove all that right now. Power and strength in your body in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Let go of the crutches and be independent of the wheelchair in Jesus' name. Lord, now miracle everywhere. Wonders without number. Here at the Alpha location. Here with your beloved people in Lusaka and online radio, television, miracle without numbers wonders without number healings deliverances without number effect it now in every life in jesus name thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord 
it is done. I got my miracle. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let that faith now come into action. Let that amen now come into action. That side in front, that other side, the miracle has happened already. It will continue with you forever. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Please don't sit down yet. Something has happened to you. The miracle is there. If you have received, I want you to shout, Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord. Now, check yourself. Whatever you don't do before, begin to do it. Don't sit down, don't sit down, don't go away. Remain where you are. The blessing is there. Whatever you could do before, please do it. And once you discover the miracle, you just shout, praise the Lord, and we can all rejoice with you. Waiting for you. We are waiting for you. For you. Because the blessing is there. The miracle is there. The Lord has done it for you. Check yourself. You are looking at the gallery, waiting to hear from somebody. When the miracle is inside your body, can we put hands together here? Praise the Lord over there. Please, just let's bring them out. You are a testifier. I say, You are a testifier. Can you lift up your right hand? Shout, I am a testifier. Confirm it, confirm it. Is there? Check yourself. Check it. Everything you couldn't do for, do it. Once it is confirmed, come out. Just come out quickly. Waiting for you. Our just if you brought anybody who is deaf or dumb, test them because now they can hear and they can speak. You brought anybody who is blind, test them because their eyes are open. Waiting for you. Miracle is there. No doubt about that. Healing has taken place already. The power of God has touched you. That yoke is already broken. Don't say, I will go and check it. Today is the last day. This is the last night. Share the testimony with the people of God tonight. And put the devil to shame. Let heaven and earth rejoice with you. Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. Once you confirm it, just come out immediately. You shall praise the Lord and we rejoice with you. You brought anybody who is sick, test them. Whatever you couldn't do before, test them. Because the yoke is broken. The power of the Lord has been released. Let's put our hands together. That's a testimony over there. Just bring them out, bring them out, don't waste time. It has happened to you. No doubt about that. All you need is to check yourself, confirm, and come out. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. The miracles tonight are not isolated cases. Massive. Don't hide the goodness of the Lord. Tell the person next to you, don't hide the goodness of the Lord. If you are not ashamed to ask him, don't be ashamed to glorify him. Come out. He has done his part. He has healed you. Come out and testify and glorify the name of the Lord. Let's come quickly. We are waiting for you. From the Ushers, bring them out, bring them out. It has happened already. It has happened to who? It has happened to who? Then come out and share the testimony. 
that swelling has disappeared just check it and you'll confirm what the lord has done we're waiting for you we're waiting for you come out come out come out as we're waiting orchestra Keep on checking yourself and as you confirm please come out immediately is there. Amen. We are waiting for you. Please come out. Why we are doing that, let's quickly go online. For testimonies it's the last day of the global crusade but not the last day for miracles because miracles continue to happen from every global crusade to yet another global crusade but it's amazing on this day we're receiving an avalanche of miracles let's take you now to charles uzoma from Ahafo, Lagos, Nigeria. He wrote, I've not been able to turn my neck well for some years now, but today after Pastor Kumui's prayer at GCK, first night, I can now turn my neck very well. To God be the glory. Miracles are happening online without numbers, and we have one from the DCM YouTube channel from Joseph Gain. He says, "Praise the Lord! I received I received my healing yesterday." He says he's had terrible stomach cramps, and he believed God. And after the last prayer of the man of God, he's been God has touched him. But this morning, he's been healed completely. Fine. Praise the Lord. Another another testimony, testimony from the YouTube page of the DCLM. From your line, Yenkao, and she says, Stomach pain on my right side is now gone. Hallelujah! The power of God at GCK traveled all the way to Calabar. And there is a testimony from South South Nigeria. Calabar, now broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. My name is James Michael Ojong from Cross River State. I'm from Idimutu district. During this program of Man of God, Dr. Pastor Kumu Hill, when the program started, I was somewhere drinking and smoking. Hmm. The Man of God came there and preached to us and invited us for the program. The first day I did not come, but the second day, being Saturday, I came for the program. So by the grace of God, God has delivered me. I've, smoked, I've been smoking for 10 years and drinking. But by the grace of God, God has delivered me. Started from that Saturday, I'm not smoking again. I'm not drinking again. Praise the Lord. More miracles are happening online, globally. We have one from a man of Victor, and he says, I used to have my left eye shaking uncontrollably, but as daddy prayed in one of the gck behold he's able to see properly and can and uh, the eye is no longer shaking hallelujah our god is a miracle worker we have another testimony from the gs facebook page and this one is from okay mute shonui and he says praise the lord 
Earlier in the day, I had a headache and it was very painful. But after the prayer of the man of God, I received my healing. Praise the Lord. Dada Nasara from Bornu State, Nigeria wrote, Thank you, Jesus, for healing me from liver problems. My healing is forever. Thank you, God in heaven. Also, God bless our daddy in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. Another one from Peace, uh, from our DCLM YouTube channel. And it says, severe is had severe headache and pains uh, all over his body. But after the prayer of the man of God, the, he's been healed. More grace to daddy. Thank you, God. Wina Banaba says on the DCLM YouTube page, Praise the Lord. My name is Wina Banabas from Bono State, Nigeria. I have been suffering from partial paralysis. After the last prayer, I was able to rise up and walk. Praise the Lord. Gaba Joy from Abuja, Nigeria wrote, I want to return all glory to God for his healing upon my life. Also, of eight years is gone during the prayer of God's servant. I literally feel no pain. Praise the Lord. Another one from Motunya Omawele. Uh, he says, says, from Saturday, he's, had, he's, he's been vomiting and also has a pain all over his, bo his body. But after the prayer of the man of God, the Lord has just healed him. Praise be to God. Uche Victory says on the YouTube page, My burning feet got healing after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. Gifts Paul from Abuja, Nigeria wrote, I had a divine encounter with God where something that felt like water in my eardrum fell off as solid after yesterday's prayer. Praise the Lord. Another one from our DCLM, DCLM YouTube channel from Uloko Steven. And he says, Hallelujah. I've been having malaria symptoms for some days now. It was raining and I was weak to get, to, to, to get dragged this evening. I, he barely copied during, uh, he copied, uh, he barely copied. And during the prayer of the man of God, his, the pain is gone and his well. Praise be to God. Miracles and testimonies being recorded all across the world. We have another testimony from the DCLM YouTube page from Ikana. And Ikana says, praise the Lord. The Lord has healed me from difficulty in breathing. I have received my healing. Amen. And now we return to our moderating overseer. Can we give the Lord a big clap offering? That's not good enough. Give the Lord a big, 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 big clap offering. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to listen to testimonies from the Alpha location. It's not just to listen. As we are listening, please check yourself. Check yourself because your own blessing, your own healing, your own miracle is right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am Chief Chona from Mose District here in Zambia. I'm from the Tonga speaking people. When I came here, I came here, I'm a very well known hypertensive patient. And then when I came here, I had numbness on the feet coming to the legs. Now, 
I could not move a long distance. But I'm surprised that on Thursday when we came, as we went out, as we were going back to our boarding, we had no transport. So my pastor persuaded me to move a journey more, more than, or slightly over a kilometer. And I said, no, I'm just going to die. How am I going to manage this? I've never done it, even in my, my home. I try this way to move 100 meters. I got rested even three times. Now I said, how am I going to man manage this one? I was very surprised. I said, OK, let me try. I went there. I finished all the, all the journey. I was there. I was too strong. I was not even feeling any tired. So just imagine. The works of the Lord. I'm very, very, very grateful to our spiritual father, Dr. Kumui, for his coming here. May the Lord increase his days. Amen. As you can see me, I've clocked my 70 second. This month is a very nice month for me. On second of this month, I clocked 72. Just this month, September, I had no the saving master, our father, Dr. Kumoi, who came to, to restore me. Now this time, my legs, I can move. Hallelujah. This month is a very nice month for me. Put your hands together for the Lord. I thank the Lord most gratefully for using this wonderful man of glory to come and appraise us here. Praise thank the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is the King of Kings visiting an earthly king. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes, let's listen to the medical practitioner. Okay, so I'm Dr. Kanyumbu again, just as introduction. Uh, what he was describing, basically he's already used medical terms. He, has, he was hypertensive. Because of the hypertension, he developed hypertensive neuropathy. So neuropathy is where the nerves get uh, little blood supply because of the uh, high blood pressure and then now you have this weakness that comes to the legs and this numbness and that's how come he was unable to walk and he was feeling this easy fatigability every time he's walking so uh, that's a case of hypertensive nephropathy thank you that was now is no longer there Amen. neuropathy has been neutralized by the power of god jam your hands together for the lord <laughs> the next testifier Let's be fast so that we can have as many as possible. We are still waiting for your own testimony. Don't hide the goodness of the Lord. Come out and testify. So just keep Praise the Lord. Okay. I'm Duko Chilunjika from Chilenje. My son here, Abraham Ngoma has since birth never experienced um, pressure when going to the toilet because he was born with an imperforate anus. Mm. So for 10 years of his life, he's been on diapers and um, could not feel anything. But from Sunday, he came here Sunday evening, and uh, Monday when I came back from work, I was told he felt like going to the toilet, and he did go to the toilet. Oh, what are you waiting for? Jump those hands together for the Lord. Creative miracle. So today when we entered here, the auditorium, uh, he, before we could sit, he said he had pressure to go to the toilet. But I asked him to hold on until the pastor finished praying. So as the pastor was praying and as he said amen, he still said he needed to go to the toilet. And I asked him to hold on until we 
testify. So my, my miracle here today is that he is able to feel that he can go to the toilet again. And he's able to hold the, the stool because if he doesn't feel that he needs to go to the toilet, it just comes out on its own without him feeling anything. So he can now feel that he needs to go to the toilet and he can even hold the, the stool. For about 20, 30 minutes now he's held it. Praise Not only the Lord. That, listen, listen. Not only that, God has delivered them. No more purchase of diapers. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Jesus is wonderful. Can I hear you shout, Jesus? Jesus. Oh, you didn't shout. I said shout, Jesus. Jesus. Go and enjoy your miracle. The next testifier. Maybe the medical practitioner has something to say very quickly. She's again summarized. Uh, she's made my job easy. It's a case of congenital and perforate Anna. So this is where a child gets born without an anal opening. And because of that, children tend not to go to the toilet like you had. And because of that, again, she can't, he can't have that sensation to go to the toilet. So what happens is that every time stool comes to the rectum or to the anal canal, it just comes out. And that's why you heard her talking about the diapers. So that's uh, incontinence, uh, which, which normally presents as inability to hold the stool. Okay. All the incontinence, all the congenital condition, all the inability, everything has been wiped away with a single miracle. Jam your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. My name is Sister Dorothy Saudi Piri from Malawi Deeper Life Church. Uh, my problem start. Uh, it was. It is not my problem now, but <laughs> Hallelujah! It started some time back. So because it was severe, I was feeling a very terrible headache. I could not touch my head, and it was hot. So I went to the hospital, Cam Central Hospital, and I went in the X-ray room. When he examined me. The X-ray has asked me, have you ever had an accident? I said, yeah, no. So I said, ah, go into the other room. Let my friend check you. So I went into the second room, and he checked, he examined my head again, and he asked me the same question. Have you ever had an accident? I said, no. Then he sent me into the third room, and it was the same thing. So the three of them came together and said, what is this problem? Then they said, let's just slight a rater. So from Kamu Central Hospital, they sent me to a doctor at the bottom hospital. So when I went there, he also examined me and he asked me the same question. Have you ever had an accident? I said, no. So he said, ah, what's going on? I said, what is the problem? I asked them to tell me, he said, no. We will not tell you, but we will give you medication. So they gave me the medicine, but the head still continued. So by God's grace in our church, we had Dr. Bonnie Longo. So I took my papers to him and asked him that this is the problem, but they are not explaining to me what has happened. And he said, I will tell you, but are you courageous enough to receive the news? I said, yes, because I want to pray about it. So. He, pray, he told me that he, I have a lot of blood clots to this side, and that is what is paining me. So I said, is there no way to remove the blood? He said, no, because he, I don't know, it, the nerves were cracking. So after that, I just, I was going, when we came to the meetings, I was still believing the Lord to heal me. So yesterday, I was telling my children, about the elephantiasis man. So I said, I was there when this happened, and I know this time I'll be healed. So we are laughing. I sat there, and you, right then as the pastor was talking, the Jesus was talking about the elephantiasis man, it was like somebody is mo moving an electric thing into my head. 
I was feeling that. So I was telling my children, I'm healed, I'm healed. So I immediately the head stopped. And then the pastor also mentioned it about the head there as he was praying in his prayer. I said, I am healed today. And when he, I, was, uh, I was coming here, I told my children that I am healed and it will no longer be there. It has gone. Hallelujah. As I'm talking to you, the pain is gone. But even yesterday, I was putting tsunami just to ease the pain. Now it's gone. I can even beat my head. Put your hands together for the law. Before the medical practitioner will comment quickly, how many years did the problem last? From 2008 to today. From 2008 yes. to 2023, 15 yes. years. Yes. 15 horrible years, not good years. Mm. But from tonight or last night, the story has changed. Amen. Jump those hands together for the Lord. Mm. Please tell the person sitting next to you, why are you hiding your own testimony? Please help me tell him more. Okay, yes. so what she was describing is a tension headache, okay? Unfortunately, again, there's no medical parameter that can describe headache. We just depend on the patient's uh, comments. So um, a tension headache and the blood that she was talking about there is just clots. We call it hemorrhagic tension headache, and that causes severe headache. So that's the definition of what she was describing. Thank you. The next testifier, we have to be a little bit faster because we have several testifiers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Loveness Mkandawire from Woodlands District. Apparently, I would have been among those members of the choir. I'm a choir member. But at the time, I didn't think I could manage to be with the rigorous you know, exercise that I'd done there. To cut short, last year in August, suddenly I stopped walking. I couldn't lift anything. I was being aided in the home, someone supporting from behind. At times I would just collapse. So when I would go to the hospital, I would use a wheelchair. Lo and behold, by God's grace, last year in October, at a crusade in Nigeria, a person of a similar situation, that was a man, testified of his healing. My healing, my case is the case where I was diagnosed with a, with a nerve problem. I understand the nerves were being pinched by the bones and the bent spinal column, which affected the nerves. So that's what caused the sudden uh, stop in walking. I went through operation, of course, but with that, it was through prayer. When that man was testifying, I too was testifying. I said, God, as I go through this operation, I waited August, I waited September with the GCK, but I never got my healing. But this time around, if this is the way I'm going to work, I know that God will give me a new leash of life where I can be able to walk and be able to support myself once more again. And I went through the operation very successfully. It was a miracle that within days I could even sit, although it took me time for me to start even driving or maybe even walking. The only thing that remained at the moment was uh, the thing that made me run all the way, which want me to keep on jumping and running, is that I couldn't walk a long distance. They got a bone from me. I couldn't sit flat on the floor. I had to sit on the chair all the time upright, and I couldn't sit for a long time. If I sit, then I could have the pain again on the back of the neck here. But this time around, from yesterday, I climbed all those stairs at the Mulungushi conference to the second floor and I came down with the stairs. So I really praise God for what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Listen, before you go, can I, have you tried sitting on the floor? Yes, yes, yes. You have tried it? Yes, I do. Sit oh, there. God bless you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. A brief comment from the medical practitioner. Okay, so what she's describing is spondylysis. So in spondylysis, what happens is because of age, sometimes the 
the spinal cord, which is basically the back where the nerves pass, tend to be compressed. So you can have a nerve compression. And when you have a nerve compression, meaning that the nerve supply to the lower limbs or to your legs gets affected. And because of that affection, you're now unable to walk and you feel that pain that she was describing. So normally we have to go into theater and try to l relieve that compression. But um, it's a 50-50 thing. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it goes well, because once a nerve stays for a long time without blood supply because of that compression, nerves don't normally heal. So that's, that's the thing that happens, and that's why she was unable to walk even after the operation. No more OJ! Amen! She was unable to walk the way she ought to, even after the operation. But when Jesus visited her, what are you seeing? She's not just walking, she's jumping and running. Put your hands together for the Lord. The great physician, the perfect doctor, Dr. Jesus. Shout his name again, Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Therefore, Pera testimony, Pathia and Chitikila, no Kumiko Sereshamwevan to Aqualesa. Muna in Tewano, Bapasta Kumu Ivari Shire, Kukamuala Secondary School, Okoto Aquati the Crusade. Of your Abanandi, Avale Pepa could deeper life than Amlo Pueban Sendi, Varivane Bavand. Ubufiash, Wadi, Shupiran Share Quatavana, and I decayed four years without Uku Quatavana. Ofo twaishire twa pepa bampeperera banja bero ko bonza twalifia mo dance mo ground na blembere fia ka pepa na pera prayer request pa pali barrenness na kwete ofo bala ndiri ati from here nga mo abwerela mo muye mushite amatebera ifia abana muchite prepare in Ofonaire Kunganda, the following day to Afmangale Rokruse Diapwa, the following morning we went back to Kuluansha, Nayashta na na Matevela Mzet C B C Mna in Tewanu. Ofana kwata na omwa na pressure si na kwata naba na five. She is one of them. Praise the Lord. Let's let's listen to the interpretation. Okay, let her talk. Let her talk quickly. But good evening, everyone. Um, I'm so honored to be here. I've um, heard so many stories about Pastor Kumui, and I've been wanting to meet him. I'm so glad that I met him. I am a product of that uh, 1991. So I would really love to urge everyone, this is the holy ground. Just believe and it will happen. The God that used him then will still use him now. Thank you. Oh, joy are flowing. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Now, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's just hold on. Let's hear the interpretation. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, she's... Beauty as a Kedi from Luansha, one of the, of the towns in Zambia. In 1991, our father in the Lord came to Zambia at Kamwala grounds. She had been barren. She was not having any children. Then one of the neighbors, uh, who was a member of Deeper Life Bible Church, our uh, sister Mlopwe, invited her. That time she gave a prayer request and then she was told when going back that when you go, prepare baby nappies and all baby clothes and all that. She went back, she bought those things and then she's saying she now conceived, had a child and had other children. One of those children is the girl you are Put singing. your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> Listen to me. September is what month of the year? The ninth month. Nine is the number of fertility. You have got your home. If you have been said to be barren, that barrenness has been cancelled. 
apostolic authority and anointing has broken the yoke tonight. Your testimony is already happening. Put your hands together for the Lord once again. Please, let's try to hurry up a bit so that we can have as many people as Praise the Lord. Possible. Praise the living God. I'm here to testify. My name is Dokas Mlenga. I'm coming from Northern Province. Uh, I had uh, three problems. In, early in the morning, I used to, uh, I used to vomit uh, yellow stuff or green. If I haven't taken warm water early in the morning, then it would mean I will vomit. Even if there is nothing I'm vomiting, but the green stuff will come. And then the other problem that I had was having stiff legs. Whenever I'm waking up, my legs will be just stiff. So I wouldn't know how to, to, to come out of my bed. And then the other th problem that I had was backache. It used to pain me. Even if I'm in, the ch in church, I'm sitting on a chair, I wouldn't rise up straight. I have to bend when, uh, walk, when going out. But on the third day of the crusade, early in the morning, I had a stiff, uh, uh, stiff legs when I woke up. But I even told uh, my husband to start now tapping my legs so that they could be straight. But when I came to the crusade, uh, the following morning, I didn't vomit. I didn't, uh, I didn't feel any backache. I didn't feel any, any stiff leg. And I'm not taking any water, but I'm not, drink, uh, I'm not vomiting. So my vomit has, vo has disappeared. Stiff leg in the morning disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. I praise the Lord. Three problems disappear totally. Can you jump your hands together for the Lord? Any comment from the medical practitioner? Okay, so what she was describing, most likely, although we have to confirm with uh, scans, but what she was describing sounds more of an intestinal obstruction, a high bowel intestinal obstruction, normally in the region of the duodenum. The green things she was talking about are things coming from the gallbladder. So that's a presentation of high bowel obstruction. So normally patients with high bowel obstruction will vomit green things color. The green color is content of the gallbladder. In terms of the nerve stiff, sorry, the morning stiffness, again, old age, we still have to confirm, but sounds more of a uh, spinal cord compression. So in spinal cord compression, normally patients will have that numbness and the pain, and also this severe back pain, which is present when sitting, yeah. Dr. Jesus, shout, Dr. Jesus. No more consultation, no more medication. Everything has been resolved. A miracle settles the matter. Can I hear you say that? Shout it, let me hear you. And it has been settled for you tonight. The miracle is there, come out and testify. Orchestra, please, before the next testimony. Let's sing and rejoice. We still have more testimonies. Testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Esther Chira. I'm coming from Solways in Northwestern Province. Yes, um, I just want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. So last year, um, when I went to school, the college I'm at, I was having problems with coping with a new diet in school. So before long, I noticed that I was passing blood when I got to the toilet instead of stool. Um, so the school took me to a hospital in Solwezi and it was discovered that I had some like swollen organs. 
sort of in yes in my rectum and stuff so um i was referred to go to a hospital a major hospital in dollar for an operation so that same week the gck was starting and i called my mom i explained everything to her and she told me to hold on and see what happens next so that night when i connected online um pastor kumui prayed and then he came back for the miracle prayer and i held i put my hand on my tummy and on my back and then that prayer was over i didn't feel anything Sorry. unique so after some days i noticed that i could easily see it without pain um any sharp pain in my rectum and the blood is still completely stopped and as i'm speaking right now i'm free and i'm healed praise the lord hallelujah yes yes the comment quickly okay so what she's describing is a stress ulcer so stress ulcers normally present uh, in students because of stress they want to pass so you normally have these stress ulcers they don't eat a lot so you find that because of not eating there's high acid in the stomach and it tends to ulcer to ulcerate is basically to tear so it causes a tear and once a tear is caused in the stomach that's the bloody stool that she's talking about so a tear as a result of stress or stress ulcer in short yeah. The world is full of problems, but a miracle settles the issue for you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Ah, that's not good enough for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Faster. Hallelujah. My name is Apurity Nanfukwe. I'm coming from Chongwe. My testimony is that I've been having a severe pain on my ink. Here, I didn't know what happened to me, but suddenly in past two months, I've been feeling the pain. And today I was praying over it. I said, God, heal me. This is the last crusade. How am I going to testify? I said, I will not stop knocking until you answer me. Suddenly I thought the pain and the pain was increasing more than I used to feel it. I said, this pain has come back again. What am I going to do? Anyway, the pastor says that I should hold where it's, uh, I feel the pain, where the problem is. When I hold my leg, and then the pastor prayed. After finishing prayed, when I said amen, I, suddenly from nowhere the pain disappeared. And then I stretched my leg. My pain, the pain was no more. And then I said... <laughs> am i healed or what i can't believe it then i i went to my mom mom i have a testimony i can stretch my leg and the pain is gone i thank god for that because god is the doctor of all doctors the doctor of all oh if you are sure say it out loud the doctor of all put your hands together for him the next testifier quickly Quickly, quickly, quickly. So for the previous one, pain is a very, very subjective parameter to define medically. Would have to confirm what was the cause of the pain, uh, but it's, a, it's something that's very, very subjective. Praise the Lord. We are here to give glory to God. Uh, my name is Amusonda. I'm here on behalf of my niece. Uh, she had she had developed a stroke in 2015 and since then the other leg would really affect the other one because the stroke was so bad so as of Friday when we started coming here we've really noticed a great change she can walk far much better than she did when we came when we started coming here and her mouth uh, her talking everything is really gone back to normal praise the Lord Jump your hands together for the Lord. The next testifier. So the st she had a paraparesis. Paraparesis is basically weakness of uh, one side of the limb. Very common in sickle cell patients because of the nature of their blood. But uh, we are told there's improvement. Again, we have to confirm that medically. But yes, we, uh, we, we entertain the improvement for now. God is still working. And your miracle is already there. Check it out and come out and testify. Remember, as you testify, you are putting the devil to shame.
When you testify, it is a public announcement of your deliverance and a confirmation of your miracle. Come and testify. Praise the Lord. Les amus mam kwai. Ine shale nda pamia ke ibiri. Nale nda fene mkoto nale nda moru ya rika kene mkwai. Kwena nanwe miti kwena ya mtupata kwena nanaka. Ero nomba tu atiso nomu anawandi. Fese ali nje vila kwewa tui. Naraisa misende na chawe ine shire nda hui. Solo mbe ilipa wale ilo second time. Mwere achise vile. Na mwerefa na mwerefa na mwerefa ya. Amen. Can we see the stick? Hallelujah. Jump your hands together for the Lord. The interpretation. Praise the Lord. Uh, her name is Felistas. She is testifying to the goodness of the Lord. Uh, the details of her testimony are that for two years she's been unable to walk. So she was invited to come, but she couldn't come the first time. Today she was just lifted to be brought to this place. And after the prayer, she felt in her legs that her legs are now loosed. Mm. Her legs which have not been moving for two years are now loosed. Walk and let us see. Tell her to move. Yes. She's not been able to do this for two years. Put your hands together for the Lord, people of God. The case of the is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. A louder amen. amen. The next testifier. A little bit faster. Your own testimony is there. Come out and testify. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My name's uh, my name's uh, Anson Piri. I'm from within Lusaka. Uh, when the, the the problem which has brought me here, I was I had an operation in June somewhere here in the laparamatory operation in the intestine. The intestine were cut, then joined again. That was in June. Then from that time, it developed uh, the pain onto my anal, my, my anal system behind there. So when I was coming here, I had a, very, I had a severe pain. I was seated behind somewhere, just behind after the pitch, behind there. I was seated with some pastors there. Then he, as the man of God was praying, uh, he said, this is, your, this is your last day today. You are healed. Just believe. Then from that time, I just felt light. That's, how, that's what my testimony, that's how, that, is, that is my testimony. Then the, the pain? Uh, how about the pain? The pain is gone. It's no more. You felt light and I've, the pain disappeared. I felt, I felt so light. I felt so like that pain, I couldn't work because I'm a, I'm a military man. Praise the, the Lord. I couldn't do my duties. Praise the Lord. The pain was severe. Even was, when, I, when I was entering the stadium, the pain was too much. It was too much on my ano, on my ano. It was too much. But after the man of, was, my man of God was praying, I was seated behind there, then that pain, it went. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jump your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, medical practitioner. Okay, so we have to still ascertain the cause of the laparotomy. We didn't get it from the story, but what he's saying is uh, he had an operation. Uh, the procedure is called a laparotomy. A laparotomy is where we open the abdomen to have access to the small intestines, probably due to several reasons, a cut and the like. But after the operation, because of suturing or joining of two segments, so normally we cut out a segment of the intestines and then resect it or rejoin it together. So normally because of that join, it tends to produce what is called as peritoneal pain and that's what he's describing. Yeah. Amen. But Amen. the pain has disappeared. It has gone. The pain has Jump your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. He felt light. The body was rolled away. The body has been rolled away from you. Thank you very much. And you are going with your miracle. Very quickly. Just move a little bit. Okay. Ah. Should look at the camera. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for what He has done in my life. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with um, um, low blood pressure, and I haven't been well for quite some time. But I remember when I was just going through my Facebook page, uh, I found the. Uh, the video where Pastor Komui was preaching about the difference between a sinner and a saint. Then, uh, instead of me skipping it, I was trying, like, uh, I, I know this pastor. Let me just try to follow the, uh, the video. Then, uh, as he was preaching, uh, I was caught and I couldn't do anything apart from listening to it. And then, uh, something transpired in my life, and whereby anything that I, I could just remember what, what he was uh, preaching, where he said that, no, if you, if you deny the voice of salvation, then you are rebelling uh, against the Savior. And then after that, I, I tried to look like, where can I find the deeper Christian life ministry? And then I was allocated, and then they told me to say, no, we're having, uh, uh, we're having a crusade at uh, Kuhilo uh, Stadium. Then that's how I made an effort and come here. Then uh, there was a time where I said, uh, try to uh, pray uh, as we are praying for you, touch where the problem is and then you lift the other hand and I did that then um, as he was praying I just felt like something moved out of me and mm. today I've just been tested I'm just been from being tested by the doctor here and I've just been confirmed everything is normal I jump your I hands couldn't... together for the Lord I couldn't stand like for five minutes, but believe you me, God is there. God is there. God can do anything. Please, if you believe, God is there. And I thank God for what he has done in my life. If it wasn't for this, uh, the men of God, let's uh, pray for our leaders so that please they can save as many lives as possible. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. A, a quick comment. Uh, we will have to verify the low blood pressure. We have to get a BP profile. So for now, we thank God, but we have to get a BP profile to ascertain it. And like he said, the doctor tested him before he came to testify here. That is a great confirmation. Medically confirmed miracle. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, a miracle normalizes them all. Jam your hands together for the Lord. Our father who testified, the Royal Highness, we have confirmed he had that high blood pressure for not less than 11 years. But God has destroyed and broken that yoke. He's totally free. Your miracle is there. Check it and come out and testify. The next testimony. We still have several testifiers there. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. My name is Len Swanda. I'm here to testify on my sister's behalf here. She never used to walk properly. She used to bend and walk like this. But today, just after the final amen, she's healed. She's able to walk properly, as you can see. Praise the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Show us how you were working before the miracle. 
bent. How you are walking before the miracle. She, see? She Let's used see. to walk as if the other leg is short. Uh, show us, show us. Want to see? Okay. Now, how are you walking after the miracle? Okay. March and let us see. Just march. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm very grateful. May the Jump living your hands God. together for the Lord. <laughs> she was walking like somebody who had one leg shorter than the other, but now the Lord has stretched out everything and she's walking properly and normally. I said, Jump your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> we would have loved to continue, but we have to round off here. Please, all other testimonies should be shared in our countries, districts, or churches. We want to thank the Lord. He's been wonderful. In fact, not wonderful. Sevenderful. Tenderful. Twelvedful. Hundredful. And the blessings are permanent in Jesus' name. Can we all rise up? And rejoice before the Lord. We're going to sing together. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking Sing and rejoice. Let's rejoice before the Lord. I want you to do something before we just pray for a few minutes. Just give the Lord the biggest, loudest, strongest, highest clap offering you can give to the Lord for this program. Wait. Our Father and the Lord said, how to clap is this. Imagine that the devil is standing before you. And then you give him right hand slap left hand slap yeah that's how to clap oh yeah clap for jesus <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> lift up your voice and worship the lord for this great crusade we have encountered the god of miracles he has proven himself globally Let's worship him. Let's give him alone all the glory. He has sent his word. He has used his servant mightily, wonderfully, graciously, powerfully. He has visited Lusaka. He has visited Zambia. He has visited Southern Africa. He has visited Africa. He has visited the entire universe. Oh, for from here sounded out the word of the Lord to the ends of the earth. Let's worship the Lord. Let's give him all the glory. I know you can worship and praise the Lord with all your heart. For these six days of signs and wonders. Of the great visitation of the Lord. Confirmation of the word, edification of the church, impartation for ministers, elevation of our youths to another level. Great things have been wrought in your life, in my life, in our lives, and all over. Begin to thank the Lord for his chosen and anointed vessel, the convener of GCK, our own father in the Lord for the strength, for the anointing, for the inspiration, for the unction and the utterance, for the power of the spirit of the living God. Let's worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Let's thank the Lord for our mother in the Lord. 
ever supportive, staunchly, strongly, steadfastly supporting for the strength and grace of the Lord upon the vessel of the Lord. Let's thank the Lord for our coordinator overseer for Southern Africa, tireless, dedicated, exemplary. Let's thank the Lord for all our overseers and all laborers across the world. We thank the Lord so much for the Zambian church, all the efforts, all the labors, all the contributions, and in all the locations. Let's give God glory. Let's celebrate. Let's worship the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven and lift up the servant of the Lord before the Lord. One word. Can I hear you shout, more? Begin to pray and say, Lord, more. More anointing. More inspiration. More fire. More power. More revelation. More insight. More and more and more upon your servant. Give him more so that I can release more. Strengthen him more so that I can do more. More programs. More success. More global penetration. More. Let's pray for our mother in the Lord. More strength. More grace. Pray for our coordinator overseer and all our other overseers. Both here in Sadek and all parts of the world. More. Upon the workers and members. More. More. More of God's blessings. Nobody will break down. Our strength has been renewed. We are going to march on from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from faith to faith, from grace to grace. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, whatsoever the Lord doeth, it shall be forever. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. I want you to lift up your right hand to everyone and decree every blessing that has been received in any part of the globe during this crusade. First and foremost, salvation of souls and every other blessing, healing, deliverance, we decree it shall be permanent. Open your mouth and decree. Decree in the name of the Lord, it shall be permanent. In Jesus' name we pray. And finally, let's cover everyone everywhere with the blood of Jesus. Every movement will be under the covering of the blood. Traveling by road, traveling by air, traveling on water. The servant of the Lord has declared over everyone, Johnny Mercy is as you go. No evil will befall anyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we lack words enough to thank you. For all you have done over this period of the GCK Zambia, a landmark, Lord, we give you glory for your visitation, for your manifestation, for your operation, for your demonstration, for the confirmation of the word. Take all the glory, Father, for your servant more. There is still so much more you want to do with him, by him, and through him. Lord, continue to have your way. We pray for mother and the Lord, more strength, more grace. Lord, more years of fruitful service for our father and mother and the Lord in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for our coordinator overseer and for the workforce and membership in Zambia and for other overseers in South Africa. Joy never end. In Jesus' name we pray. And a bigger amen. amen. And a final amen. amen. Tell the person next to you, congratulations, your blessings are permanent. He was imprisoned unjustly. He cried for help. But was never heard for a thick cloud covered the plea. Then came the master of ocean and sea, the one who was and is to come. Above him, the dove for a witness. Around him, guarded with power and might.
Then a great voice from heaven saying, The snare is broken. Loose him and let him go. Mercy came that day. Mercy has come today. Everyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. GCK, Global Crusade with Kumui. Live in Edo State, South South Nigeria, and to the world. Different people, races, and cultures via satellite and all our social media platforms. Thursday, October 26 to Tuesday, October 31, 2023. 1600 hours GMT daily with a Super Sunday service on October 29th. Live at Garrick Memorial Grammar School Ground, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. There will be a special focus on teenagers, campus students, core members, and young adults. Guess no further, because it's Impact Academy Reloaded, hosting the Unstoppable Champions. And that includes every youth participant on Saturday, October 28, 2023, all 600 hours GMT. An excellent ministry is sure for all ministers, church workers, and professionals on October 27, 30, and 31st at 600 hours GMT. All events hold at Garrick Memorial Grammar School Ground, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Glorious gospel music by the GCK Global Choir. And the guest gospel minister, Jared Anderson, a Christian worship leader from Colorado, USA. Ourself. As God's servant, the international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, is set to touch down in Edo State and to the world, different people, races, and cultures, their satellite and all our social media platforms. Get ready to experience the power of Jesus. Say, lose him and let him go. GCK. The gospel to every creature. He was imprisoned unjustly. He cried for help, but was never heard for a thick cloud covered the plea. Then came the master of ocean and sea, the one who was and is to come. Above him, the dove for a witness. Around him, guarded with power and might. Then a great voice from heaven saying, The snare is broken. Lose him and let him go. Mercy came that day. Mercy has come today. Everyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. GCK, Global Crusade with Kumui. Live in Edo State, South South Nigeria, and to the world. Different people, races, and cultures via satellite and all our social media platforms. Thursday, October 26 to Tuesday, October 31, 2023. 1600 hours GMT daily with a Super Sunday service on October 29th. Live at Garrick Memorial Grammar School Ground, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. There will be a special focus on teenagers, campus students, core members, and young adults. Guess no further, because it's Impact Academy Reloaded, hosting the Unstoppable Champions. And that includes every youth participant on Saturday, October 28, 2023, all 600 hours GMT. An excellent ministry is sure for all ministers, church workers, and professionals on October 27th. 30 and 31st at 600 hours GMT. All events hold at Garrick Memorial Grammar School Ground, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Glorious gospel music by the GCK Global Choir. And the guest gospel minister, Jared Anderson, a Christian worship leader from Colorado, USA. This 
will be ourselves as our social media platforms. Get ready to experience the power of Jesus. Say. Is for you to need to pay. The you might have feel there is grace today. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from boats of Satan. Oh, yeah. Just in case, yes, you build your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, Papa, they come. Walk a wine be ya. Mutu mata so o. Baba ya ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All the shame you will run away. Oh, oh, oh. GCK Gospel to every creature God bless you with miracle God bless you with healing God bless you with deliverance all you need is come to him she calls him Lord. Surrendered, submitted, gave herself under control and directed Lord. And she said, Have mercy on me. No marriage, just the mercy of the Lord. And the miracle of mercy is coming to you tonight. In Jesus' name.
God bless you with miracle. God bless you with healing. God bless you with deliverance. All you need is come to him. She calls him Lord. Surrendered. Submitted. Gave herself under control and directives. Lord. And she said, have mercy on me. No marriage. Just the mercy of the Lord. And the miracle of mercy is coming to you tonight in Jesus' name. Getting healed, we have seen the oppressed getting delivered. Let's worship him, let's magnify his holy name. Because once again, now on this last day, we will experience him even much more than we have seen before. Let's praise him, let's worship him because this is the last day and he will do great things for us. Give him all the glory, praise his holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want a better amen. We want to continue praising him. We want to worship him once again for this last day of the crusade. Let's just thank him for what he has uh, prepared for us in stock. Yes, the Lord will do great things. If you are sick, he's going to deliver you. If you are oppressed, he's going to deliver you. Whatever problem you have, this is the last day and the Lord will do it. Let's praise him. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. He's a God that cannot fail. There is nothing which is impossible with him. Let's worship him, let's adore him, let's magnify his holy name. He's a wonderful God. He's a glorious God. Let's worship him. He cannot fail. There's nothing which is impossible with him. There's no sickness which is incurable with him. Whatever sickness represented here, whatever problem is represented here, today as the last day, the Lord Almighty will show himself once again great towards us. And he will deliver the sick. He will deliver the oppressed. He will do marvelous things, wonderful things in our midst. He will do marvelous things, wonderful things in our midst. Let's worship him, let's adore him. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray committing this crusade as uh, the last day. We want to commit the entire program in the hands of God. We want to pray for the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit upon this place. That are from the beginning, God will take full control. And want to pray that the atmosphere will be charged with the power of the Holy Spirit. That every problem represented here, every sickness represented here, whatever challenge that people are having or are coming here, want to pray that the power of the Holy Ghost will remove all the problems in Jesus' name. So shall we just commit this place in the hands of God? Let's pray for the power of the Holy Ghost, divine visitation, that God will visit us in a mighty way, in a definite way. There will be an explosion of miracles. Miracles everywhere, miracles everywhere. That all the candidates of miracles, people coming who are sick, people coming with various problems, that today the Lord will visit them, will meet them at the point of their need. Let's pray, let's pray that the power of God will be so mighty in this place, that as the people are stepping in here, miracles will be happening. Just merely coming in this place, the miracles will begin to happen. That the place will be the atmosphere of miracles. That every place charged with the Holy Ghost, charged with the presence of God, Let's pray that every aspect of this program will be under the control of the Holy Spirit. We commit all the equipments we are using, the transmission. We want to pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will take full control, that there will be no problem with the transmission. Let's pray, committing all the singers, that God will inspire them. Let's pray also for the servant of God, the convener of GCK. Let's commit him in the hands of God. Let's pray for the power of God upon him, the anointing of God upon him, that God will anoint him in a special way. Let's pray that uh, the anointing will be so much, so powerful, that every problem here, as he ministers, no problem will remain. Let's pray for him, that God will anoint him, 
that you minister as an holy call of God. You will speak and preach with power that the demonstration of the Holy Ghost once again will manifest in his ministration. Let's remember him. Let's commit him in the hands of God. That will be an instrument, a channel of blessing to us. That as he stands to minister, he speaks the word. That word will come with power to sort out our problem, to heal the sick, to deliver the oppressed. Let's remember him. That God will strengthen him once again. As God has used him all these days who have been here. We want to pray that the, the strength of God will come upon him. God will energize him. God will renew him. That he will come and speak with freshness of mind. That he will speak and preach with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's commit him in the hands of God. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray, brothers and sisters, that as the word of God is going to be ministered here, that it will not fall to the ground. I want to pray that God will give us the grace that will mix that word with faith and work upon the preaching of the word of God. I want to pray that every word that will come from the throne of God, we pray that his purpose will be accomplished in our hearts in Jesus' name. The sick will be healed, the oppressed will be delivered. Shall we pray? That that word, as God said, uh, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction.